Okay, so in our last lesson, we um, made a moving ball, right, um, horizontally. It starts from the same point each time. Um, in this lesson, we are going to make it a bit more fun. So I will change the speed to, to zero so it doesn't move. So if we run this, we can see um, there's no movement. And what we're trying to do here is see if we could randomize where the X starts from. Okay, so I'm going to start by uh, changing the X position to zero to see where the ball gets um, drawn. So we see when it's zero, it's, it's drawn, it's chopped off halfway through um, because the center point of the ball is 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 um, being um, handled um, from the center of it. So what I would do, I would change it so it's um, 25, so it's halfway in. Which, we, which will um, give us the result we want. So the ball is now fully in the screen. Okay, so the X, uh, 25, gives us what we want. So let's see if we have it to, to be 800, which is the, the width of, um, of our game. And again, we could see that it's chopped off halfway, and we could um, rectify that again by taking away 25 from 800. So 775 uh, could save this and then run it again, ruby bounce, and we can see that's fine. So our ball is printed between uh, X of 25 and 775. All right, so what we can now do is change and say uh, rand uh, for random uh, 25 dot dot 775. So we want to print the ball in a random position between 25 and 775. And we can see that when we run this, is um, it shows us the ball on x-axis on random positions on between 25 and 775. Okay, so that works. Uh, what we now need to do is get rid of the, the hard coding. It's not a good idea to have 25 and 775 done like that, just in case we change um, the windows, for example. So what I'll do, I'll create radius. Uh, which will be width divided by 2. So that's always going to be the same, 25. So so we'll have radius there. So let's try and see, make sure everything is working fine. Okay, run that a couple of times. So it's, it's all good. So now we have uh, 775. Okay, so uh, to remove that hard coding, I can say, um, I can target, target with the wind. So the window, window, the ball is drawn, is drawn the width of that window, that window. Um, um, which is down, down on, on line, line 25. 25. So the width of the, the gaming window is 800. So by saying window width, I'm calling uh, Gosu's width method. And when I run the code, you can see um, it's chopped off the screen just on the right side. Okay, so that's again because uh, window that width is 800 what we need is 775 so on line 8 if we go to the very end of uh, width we could say something like uh, take away uh, the radius uh, the radius of course is 25 okay so let's try and save this and and then we can run and we can see that the ball appears uh, in random positions on the x-axis Okay, and it's not hard coded, which is very good. Just in case we change uh, gaming windows width or height, we don't want to manually track every place where we've said 800 or 400. Um, that's not very nice. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can put our speed back to one and let's try and see what happens. So we run it, it starts from there. We run it, it starts from over there. So we have some random starting points uh, for our game. Okay, so we'll stop um, in this lesson here. In the next lesson, we'll um, look into our y-axis and uh, see what more we can do with um, uh, making our ball move. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson.